up, Devils? J Dog back here to answer some goddamn Devils. And I got a list of fucking questions I collaborated from two or three different videos. So, like I said, I'm behind this shit. This is another one of the videos. Uh, knock it out. Just I grabbed questions, so I did give them a proofreading. So, yeah, not totally off the cuff, but didn't think about it much. And I'm just going to get them here now. Brought them up, copied and pasted them here in a fucking word pad. And I'm going to read them off out to you. Not on the phone this time. So here we go. Got a first one from Henry K. Would you agree that this member is the best and most wanted reunion that was possible? Uh, they What they wanted reunion or going to be reunion? I mean, they did reunite, right? Aren't they still playing uh, Maryland Death Fest? Um, I would, I, yeah, I don't know if it was the most. I mean, maybe Merciful Fate would be more wanted, for, at least for myself. Uh, but I really was look, looking forward to this member. As a matter of fact, about this member, that's like, I think that's the only Swedish death metal band that I like every single record by. Even the last album they did, the self-title, I was a big fucking fan of it. And I've only seen them once. Uh, actually, I got my photos with Maddie and shit like that in my uh, fucking work office here. So they're out back at the fucking uh, home office collection room. Show them there. But yeah, I got my picture with Maddie and all the guys, whoever at the time. It was 2000, I believe. It was on the Hate Campaign Tour. And that's the only time I've seen this member in Lorraine, Ohio at the Flying Machine. And that show was fucking great. And not only that... Was a show great? Uh, Hate Campaign is probably my third favorite uh, Dismember album. I think it's the most underrated album in the catalog. My favorite is Like an Ever Flowing Stream, then Indecent and Obscene, and then probably Hate Campaign. Like, I love that fucking record. I, nobody ever brings it up. All killer, no fucking filler. Banger from head to fucking toe. But every album's good, and uh, if they are playing Maryland Death Fest, it's up in the air if I'm definitely going yet or not still. I might go for a day. Uh, if I, it's the day I go, it's, I'm going to definitely plan it for the day that Hemorrhage is playing, which better be a fucking uh, Saturday. If they play on a Thursday or some bullshit like that, then I probably won't go at all. But I'm hoping that it's, um, from what I heard, I didn't even look at the list or whatever. I'm hoping to go just up on a Saturday. When I'm hoping plays, I'm hoping it's Hemorrhage, uh, Dismember. And I heard Deicide got added to the list, and they're going to play the entire Legion album. Really want to fucking see that as well. And then uh, there's other bands I want to see too, but those would be the biggest. So if they're, those are on a Saturday, there's a very good chance I'll go up there, drive up Saturday morning, uh, just stay, you know, watch the show, stay the night at a, whatever fucking close by hotel, and then drive back Sunday morning. That's maybe if there's if there's tons of bands on Saturday and tons of bands Sunday I want to see, I might do Saturday and Sunday show. We'll see, but I don't think I'm going to have time to do the whole fucking the whole fucking shabam, you know. So, uh, but yeah, this member was it the most wanted? I don't know. Uh, it's definitely up there for me. Because uh, I'm a huge Dismember fan. Uh, probably my, definitely my favorite, as overall, definitely my favorite band out of Sweden altogether. From Morgoth192, hey J Dog, do you watch any metal related YouTube channels? The Hipster Black Metal channel has some hilarious vids ripping on modern bands and classic bands. Never seen it. To be honest with you, I don't know if I've ever even watched a um, metal YouTube channel. And that might be kind of surprising. I just don't, uh, for me, like. I'm around metal all day and I deal with it and I listen to what I want to listen to. And, uh, I kind of like, don't know, like what I, I don't know. I mean, like if I, it's, it's kind of like checking shit out and stuff, more than likely we're going to get it in. So I, I just check it out. And, uh, the stuff that we don't get in, I know so many people in the metal scene and if they know my taste, they recommend, Hey, check this out or whatever. I heard this, there's this demo people tell me about shit. So it's kind of like, I don't really need to watch stuff. And it's just, I don't know. I mean, if there's something really, really cool out there that I'm missing out on, let me know. I did. I, I mean, I have seen some videos here and there, like some of the people, oh, uh, the Hell's, Hell's uh, packs being opened, what do they call it? Opening Hell's Headbangers boxes. I found those pretty fucking funny uh, in a good way. So I've seen those. But as far as subscribe to a channel watching, uh, I actually don't. From Mushroom Leg, Mr. Dog, <laughs> best pizza in Cleveland. I like Angelo's. Used to be right across the street from my mind's eye. Uh, I don't know what the best pizza in Cleveland is, though. But, yeah, if you know a uh, place, let me know, man. Because, actually, like, pizza is my absolute fucking favorite food. And I'm I'm one of those guys, like, uh, I love trying new pizza places. Like, uh, anytime, like, if a new place opens up, if it's close by, I'll always check it out. Uh, I do like Angelo's. I've eaten there a couple of times. A little fun fact about that. It's funny because that's when I would go is, uh, yeah, like you said, it was right next to my mind's eye. And uh, Don of the Dead, uh, his old house, he moved, he moved, like, one street over. But his old house, he used to live on uh, Wyandotte, or that road there. Literally walking distance from my mind's eye. So every time I'd go up there, I would go to Don's house, park at, park at his house rather than the street up there, hang out a little bit, and we'd walk into my mind's eye. And I always was like, hey, let's get some pizza to, together at uh, over at Angel's. I never had it. He's like, ah, I know, fuck those guys. I'm like, why? What's fuck those guys? <laughs> because long story short, what is it? Uh, one of the pizza delivery guys, uh, I think they like, I think they bumped into Charles or like ran him, like something crazy. I, I don't want to get the story wrong, but they hit Charles at like, a, like him walking the street and they hit him, whatever one of the delivery guys, 
or maybe they bumped into his car or something. Something that had had to do with Charles um, was from Angelo's Pizza. It happened to him, and then Don's like, fuck them, I don't support them. I'm just like, but I, I kind of, I don't agree with that, because it's like kind of go like, say, say you go to McDonald's, right, and you have a bad experience because the kid was a jerk or whatever. I'm like, he's just some fucking 15-year-old that they're paying minimum wage an hour, and he's just doing his, doesn't even give a fuck, you know what I mean? So it's not like the owner of the company that fucks you. It's just some jackass. You know, he doesn't represent the company. So I, I think that's kind of a bad example. But I saw, I mean, yeah, can never go with Don because he refused to go. <laughs> he's like, I'm a hungry Howie's guy. I'm a fucking hungry Howie's. I was like, I don't know. Isn't that place kind of suck? I mean, I haven't had it in a long time. But I was like, yeah. But I thought it was good. And I, so I did carry out once on my own. And then uh, before a couple shows, my wife and I dined in there. And yeah, I really liked Angelo's a lot. But yeah, if there's other great places in Cleveland, let me know because I'm definitely a pizza guy. Uh, Ricky J. Hey, did you like the latest incantation? Um, it's okay. I, you know, for, for me, for incantation, the last album I'm really like a big fan of was Blasphemy. After that, it's kind of like, it's cool. I, I'm glad to see a band like incantation. They didn't change their style. Um, you know, pull a carcass or any of those fucking other bands. We talked about Tiamat and God knows who else, you know what I mean? With a drastically change. So I'm glad, but at the same time, it's kind of like the same old, same old, and it's, you know, to me, like, nothing's ever going to be as good as, like, Onward of the Gold Throne, Mortal Throne, Nazarene, Diabolical Conquest. Those are my three favorites. Uh, just nothing's ever going to be as good as that. So it's kind of like, you know, it's the same old, same old for that. And just, you know, I will say this every time I listen now, there is usually one or two songs that really stand like, oh, that was a really good song. And then some of the doomy parts, that was always my thing with Incantation, too, is uh, some of the doomier parts were kind of, like, a little too boring for me. But uh, the the just the minimal amount, I'm like outward of Golgotha and stuff like that. It, it was it was it was an it was it was a healthy good amount for me to where it didn't bore me. As opposed to like album after album when they were doing it kind of a little bit more, it was kind of like eh. I only liked kind of like the upbeat songs. But um, yeah, Blasphemy was the last one I really know um, that I liked the most. But I don't I don't think any album by them sucks. I just think I'm like eh. You know, I'm a Blasphemy down guy. After that, I'm kind of like you know, I'm kind of good. But I do check every album out. And, uh, yeah, I never thought anything was fucking dog shit or anything like that. Uh, from last one on Earth, what do you think of MMA UFC? Uh, I don't follow it. I can definitely see why someone would. Um, it seems, def seems definitely more entertaining than fucking, like, um, golf or watching baseball or fucking football or something like that. I don't follow any of those sports, but I see, can, can see the appeal more to that. I will say this is one of the big turnoffs, too, for that is those guys seem like the biggest fucking douchiest fucking douche canoes I've ever seen. They just seem I've never met one in experience, but just what I get, I, I, they just literally seem like everything I can't stand in a fucking human being. So uh, that's kind of a turnoff because what's cool is like with bodybuilding, like I was saying, it's and I've kind of talked about a little. It's a little different now, I'm a little bit more douchey, but to before all the classes, when it was just literally men's open bodybuilding. One class, just big ass motherfucking body goes, and there was women's body. That was it. Now there's all these other classes. Uh, there's like physique classes, especially with the physique, which is these board shorts guys, like you can't even see their legs. Then it got really fucking douchey. But when it was the big guys, and even still now, they're literally like some of the most humble, cool guys you'll ever fucking meet. They're not douchey at all. Like, if for you guys that are outside of this world, and if you look at them, like they look like all oh, every fucking dicks just because how they physically look. Not at all. Most of them are like super, super fucking cool. Um, I think of, I'm trying to even think about who's an open pro that I thought was kind of a dick or douchey. Um, I know there is one or two, and I thought about it recently, but no one's coming straight to my mind. But almost, if you uh, look at the physique class, the physique class is uh, with the, where they're wearing board shorts. If you're looking up, you just, they just judge your upper body. They're, they're much, much smaller. They're uh, definitely the type of guys like, when guys are like, you know, uh, trying to get big or whatever for girls, it's like, you know, girls don't even like that, right? And shit, that doesn't attract chicks. You're going to get more attention from guys. Trust me, I know. Very, very rarely do girls come up to me and fucking compliment me. It's almost always fucking dudes. So it's like, if you're doing it for that reason, you're doing it for the wrong goddamn reason. But the uh, if you are going to do it, it's going to get muscular, so that, that's shit like that for girls. The class they're going to like is more so the um, physique class because they're not overly big. They're, they're on stage, you're like... I mean, they're big. They're still big, but not nowhere near the size of the open pros. So, uh, the, those guys in particular, do, douche fucking city. I think one or two of them kind of like, I think are pretty cool, uh, personality wise, but, and I've met a bunch of them too. They're just, you, they're, and they're usually younger too. In fact, they're, they're fucking all younger. I'd say they're all like in their twenties and shit. Extremely annoying. Like if you look up, uh, he won the Olympia a couple times when it first started. Jeremy Buendia. That guy's a fucking canoe central and a 
fucking piece of shit. And I would tell him that to his face, too. Like, I literally can't stand that fucking guy. If he died in a car wreck tomorrow, I'd be totally okay with it. Total POS. So, next question here. Brian H. Justin, does a little... Does a little exist of all the bands, preferably with the order? What the fuck? Oh, does a list exist of all the bands, preferably in order, that played the the two big head bash festivals? Uh, I mean, if there's a list out there, I don't know if it. We have a, um, posters made up, but it was just the bands thrown out there, not the days they played or the order, but just an advertisement poster. That definitely exists. But as far as, yeah, Friday, starting at uh, 1 o'clock to fucking midnight, the set list, I don't have it. Maybe you can maybe ask around or find somebody. Maybe there was something that paper list that somebody has, but I, I don't have it. And I t- damn sure don't fucking remember either. Um, fuck, I get a blurred up. I'll be honest. If you if you say like uh, which year did uh, Satanic War Master play? I'm pretty was the sec- Pretty sure it was the second year, or they, or certain other bands. I'd get them flipped off. I'm like, oh, maybe it was the 2015, the 26. I don't. I did blurs together. So yeah, I'd be. Uh, I'm not sure. But search around. I'm sure, somebody probably has it. Or maybe the one diehard fans, maybe they just memorized it and fucking wrote down when they're there. Uh, from Jay Dinkins, question, have you come across these guys online that call, that call actual metalheads elitist gatekeepers because we don't consider everything with a distorted, it's distorted guitar to be a real metal? Um, I'm not sure if I'm understanding the question, but it sounds like have I actually met guys that basically do that tough guy talk online? If that's your question, ah, uh, you know what? I don't know if I've ever have. Yeah. Like, it just seems like it's an online thing. But when you meet them, like, it's funny because me and Reaper had that talk many times where it's like, where are these guys where all they listen to is Morbosa, not Archgoat, and War Metal? That's all they listen to. And there's just anything with a fucking uh, studio that sucks. Where are these guys at? I mean, um, he's like, you see, you see them online. It's this tough guy shit. And he's like, uh, so I've never met one. You go to a show and they, they, they like across the board metal. And it's funny because even in my comments from you guys and people comment in the videos, yeah, it's kind of like, for example, like, if you mentioned, like, on the NWN board, like, Six Feet Under Haunted or something, like, 15 years ago or something, you'd almost be, like, crucified. That was the vibe I got. I'm not saying you would. But it's like you mentioned on your videos, it's like 85% of the people are like, yeah, they, they agree. Like, of course that's a good album. Who doesn't, who doesn't know that? That's what I always thought. But some of these fucking elitists uh, say otherwise. But, again, I, I've never actually met one of those people uh, in person. So, I don't know. Do they even exist? Or is that just an online persona that doesn't exist? It just comes off that way because... You're just reading text. Kind of like if somebody got sends you a text message and you take it the wrong way because you're taking it in tone. It's like, I wasn't saying it that way, man. I just typed it out and you read it that way. So that's that's on you, dude. I don't know. Could be that because, yeah, like I said, I've never, t- t- to my memory, never ever met somebody uh, like that. Uh, from Gorehound, what are your favorite Cannibal Corpse records? Personally, my top three is number one, The Bleeding. Number two, Gallery of Suicide. Number three, Butchered at Birth. Uh, top three for me, if you want to go in order, I would have to say, I mean, it gets close. I'd probably say Two of the Mutilated First, Second, Eaten Back to Life, Third, Vile. And um, next to Vile, uh, Bloodthirst is extremely close in there for me, too. Huge fan of Bloodthirst. So I would have to say those. From Life Eternal, shout out to you, Bri-Bri. You comment on virtually every fucking video. Oh, dude, you should certainly react to baby metal. <laughs> you cringe so hard, your neck would snap. <laughs> dude, I've literally baby metal. I've never fucking heard of this shit. Ha- Hammer of the Witches is a later cradle record. That's awesome. Hammer of Witches, huh? Yeah, I've never heard it. Uh, scope it out. Uh, when I say slam, I think visceral the scourge, cerebral incubation, Nephrectomy, etc. Uh, yeah, I've never heard of any of those bands. So, uh, actually, well, Visceral, I've heard of Visceral the Scourge, uh, but I've definitely never heard of any of those bands. So, chances are, yeah, that's probably explains. I guess I don't like any slam. Uh, I remember uh, Reaper gave you some Blind Guardian albums to listen to. What did you think of them? Yeah, he gave me, I think, the first album and an EP of, I thought, um, what was it, the Mirror Mirror EP? I thought that was kind of like good power metal, like definitely not what I'm used to listening to. So, it really stood out and was kind of like, really memorable because that's not generally what I listen to. So I kind of did enjoy that. The first album I liked, but it reminded me a lot of Halloween, uh, which is not a bad thing. Uh, Halloween Walls of Jericho and the fucking EP before that. I love that stuff. So it sounded to, to me a lot like Halloween. Uh, I'd have to get to know the songs more, but I'm like, I, I mean, this is good, but I was like, I prefer uh, Halloween Walls of Jericho. But a good solid speed metal album, if you want to call it that. 
uh, for sure. Definitely, I, I didn't think it sucked by, by any means. And if somebody's like, hey, this is my favorite band, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I, I can see that. I, I get it. Uh, from Ricky J. Hey, j Dog, do you like the speed metal band Exciter? I do. I actually like them quite a bit. The very last album I like is uh, Unveiling the Wicked. I like that album a lot and everything below it. Uh, everything after that, um, I have, can't say I've heard everything, but um, but the ones I had, and it's a different singer. I don't even know what the fuck the guy's name is. I didn't like it at all. And uh, it's funny because Maryland Death Fest, what was it, 2017, 18, somewhere around there? Maybe 16 even, as far as back. Uh, I went, we were vending, and I, one of the bands playing was the excited of the original lineup. And I was like, fuck, I definitely really want to watch that. And uh, during them, I was the entire time, right before, maybe an hour before they went out, you know, hanging up, catching up with uh, Matt Harvey. Because uh, I don't think Exum played, but Gruesome played that year, I believe. So Matt was there, so we're just shooting the shit and hanging out. And so it went on so long, we're just shooting the shit that uh, I missed Exciter. They went on and played. I'm like, fuck, God damn it. But, I mean, I always really like hanging out with Matt. Uh, so, you know, this, this is cool. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bummed bum, bum that I uh, missed that because I did want to see that. So, uh, And I heard that they sounded fucking great, just like the uh, just like the old album. So would have been cool to see that. But who knows? Maybe they'll still do other stuff and yeah, they'll come to Cleveland. Never know, I guess, right? And uh, from Mushroom Leg, have you ever met Chris Barnes? And did his dread smell like poppery? Poppery? I think that's what he's saying. Uh, I have met Chris Barnes. I met him one time. I got my picture with him, too. Also, in my office. I'm going to show you guys next to this member. Uh, I was 14 years old. It was, a 19, it, was, it was October 31st, Halloween, 1999. They played Lorraine, Ohio, the, uh, the Fly Machine again. Uh, lots of shows were there at the time. It was a shoulder-to-shoulder show. It was for the Maximum Violence Tour. Uh, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And I met Chris. I brought some of my Six Feet Under stuff and some of my Cannibal Corpse uh, albums. And he signed them. He was cool and uh, seemed nice. And he got my picture with him. And, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, I didn't, didn't, did that not too much. I can't remember what we talked about or anything. But, I mean, he was friendly. He was friendly than Glenn. That's for goddamn sure. I met him. So, yeah. And last goddamn question here. I got that printed out here uh, from Fraser Dawson. Dog, do you like do you like hard rock? Example, Uriah Heap, uh, a wishbone, Ash, UFO, King Crimson, Turkey, Buzzard. Yes, the band that it. Yes, the band. This is kind of stuff I like too, but not it. Shit, man, you can fucking proof me this shit. But not it might not be your cup of tea. Just curious. Uh, do I like any hard rock? Uh, yeah, I don't listen to any of those bands per se, what you're saying. I mean, you're right. Heap and stuff. It's okay. I mean, I don't think it's terrible, but it's definitely not something I would buy and put on my own. I mean, I'm, is Black Sabbath considered hard rock or heavy metal? I like definitely the Ozzy area of that. Pretty much with the exception of um, Never Say Die, I like all the Al Ozzy albums of Black Sabbath. Uh, Never Say Die, the, the title track, Never Say Die, I think is pretty okay, pretty good, but the rest of them, I think, pretty much blue chunks. Um, so is Exeter hard rock? If it is, than them. I uh, like the early ACDC stuff. Pretty much pretty much back in black, down, and then a couple albums after here and there, hit or miss. Like for those about to rock, I thought that was kind of a snooze fest. What's the one after that? Um Flick of the Switch and Um Fly on the Wall. It's been a while since I listened, but those are those are good albums. I own them. Uh is Judas Priest considered heavy hard rock or heavy metal? I mean, I like, you know, Priest basically uh Screaming for Vengeance down with the exception of uh, Turbo and what's the other fucking glammy album. And the very first album, uh, what's the first fucking uh, Priest called again? It's on my tongue. You guys all know it's fucking shouting out. Uh, what's the first one? Uh, I, I remember every time I, I remember not liking that album. I, I think I even do own it. But if somebody told me recently, I think it might have been Reapers. You got to go back and listen to it more. It grows on you. But I think it was pretty much Sad Wings Up is kind of what I liked. Uh, but I do like those. Yeah, Hell Bent for Leather. I think it's a Screaming for Angels. I think those are great albums. So that's considered, you know, fucking hard rock, right? Or is it or is it heavy metal? I don't know. Because uh, you could throw it in either category. So those would probably be, if you want to say I like hard rock, those would be the hard rock bands I have. But yeah, I don't list like, you know, like Led Zeppelin, Van Halen. I'm not, not a fan. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, just those bands pretty much. And again, Ozzy Osbourne, early shit of Ozzy. Is that just heavy metal, hard rock? Depends who you ask. So if you ask my dad, he'd be like, oh, it's rock and roll. And if you ask... Some of the metalists are like, oh, it's really heavy metal. Who the fuck knows? If you want to throw in the hard rock category, I like that too. And as far as Ozzy, the last thing I liked by them was uh, No Rest for the Wicked Down. So Blizzard of Oz to No Rest for the Wicked. I liked all those albums. And then No More, no More Tears Up. I thought that was pretty much all junk. There was a song here and there that I thought was pretty good, but for the most part, garbage. So, guys, that's it for those. I'll print up a fucking another batch of questions because I got a fuckload more to go. I think I got another five videos worth. 
having gone through the questions yet, kind of let them build up, and I'll mark them all down like this and get them up, uh, get them answered. So if you see this fucking video, put them in there, goddamn it, so you can get the shout out and answer to there too. And I'll see you in the next one later.